Hi, I'm Warwick Beauchamp from Online Marketing, keeping you up with the play online. This video is about helping you get more business from the internet. The internet is steadily taking over as a preferred way for customers to find what they're looking for. More people will Google what they're after rather than look through the yellow pages or their local directory. Google recognizes this and continues to develop a search results show on the first page, particularly when Google notices a person is likely to purchase a product or service locally. Google Maps is the new Yellow Pages. In this video, you'll learn how to feature your business on the first page of Google in the Google Maps area when someone searches locally for your products or services. It's far more complicated than taking out a Yellow Pages listing. However, that can be to your advantage. The investment is much less than a Yellow Pages ad and we'll take care of all the complicated stuff for you and you'll get the customers. Let's look quickly at what's happening online. Over 84% of people who go online use Google as their search engine. Over 91% of people click on one of the results that turn up on the first page. So it's obvious how essential it is to be on the first page of Google and if your business is not there you have the opportunity to do something about that right now. Most business owners have paid their web developer thousands for a website and maybe thousands more for search engine optimization to get on the first page of Google. As important as this is, these websites are often being displaced when Google recognizes someone is searching with local intent. A local intent search puts Google Places listings on the first page merged with the website listings and often in a more predominant position. This typically pushes other natural listings websites down the page dramatically reducing the website visits they receive. Local intent is when Google senses that a person is searching for something they want to purchase locally. In most instances, if you type a profession, a trade, a service, especially hospitality or tourism, or append any search with a physical location such as the name of a city or a town. Google Maps will appear with Google Places listings showing at or near the top of the page in the natural listings area. That's the area below the paid listings. Google chooses which businesses to show on that first page by general location and most importantly by popularity of their Google Places listing. Notice also the map to the right that shows where those local businesses are located. This whole concept is called narrow casting and holds a massive opportunity for businesses whose customers tend to come from within 10k radius or whose customers are looking for a product or service within a particular location, such as rafting near Rotorua. These are customers or clients looking for exactly what you offer. Google Maps is generally the first thing they see in a natural search result. All you need to do is get your business information in front of these people and you'll have a steady stream of new business. The last thing you want is to have your business in the more results near section. It used to be that if you had a leaky tap, you'd open the yellow pages and scan through pages of ads to find a local plumber. Now people go to Google on their computer or smartphone and type in plumber or plumber with a local modifier, the name of their city or suburb. Google then returns a map of plumbers close to them and orders them by popularity. What's more, Google puts those places listings at or near the top of the page. Not only does Google know where your customer's computer is located, it also knows even more accurately where your customer's smartphone is. In fact, here's an example. Imagine I was at the beach broke a tooth on something I ate and typed dentist into Google Maps on my iPhone. The program brings up four red pins that represent local businesses registered on Google Maps. What is interesting is that the name of only one business is given. It was the one that Google has deemed the most popular chosen only from Google Places listings, not websites. And it's not the closest to me. Notice the blue pin showing my location. Here's some other important stats. 82% of local searches follow up via an in-store visit, phone call, or purchase. 80% of all retail transactions happen within 10 k's of people's homes, and 32% of people with smartphones conduct a local search. Now here is the most important thing to get. Searches with local intent tend to be in buy today mode, otherwise they wouldn't be looking. People searching to have their car serviced are likely to buy, and they are the most ready to buy now. 
they're very qualified leads. This is the power of local intent and a Google Places listing. Secondly, a Google Places listing functions on normal computers and mobile devices. Are people likely to be searching with local intent for your products or services? Hopefully by now you'll realize that not having your business showing up in the Google Maps area is insane. And if it's in the more results near area, a real shame. This has got to be one of the biggest opportunities for your online marketing and definitely where you'll get the biggest bang for your buck right now. Not actively managing your Google Maps listing is like flushing money down the drain. Google has created and given away 52 million Google Places listings and only 4% of business owners have claimed their listings. You can do that for free, you don't even need a website to be listed. Getting a listing is free and easy, but it doesn't guarantee that your business will show up on the first page of Google. Even though claiming your listing is a good start, it's not enough in today's marketplace to secure a position on that first page that receives the majority of the traffic for local searches. By now, you may have realized that there's a bit of an art and skill in getting on that first page. And that is what online marketing is practiced at. It's called optimizing your Google Places listing, which involves determining what words your prospects are actually using, when they search, then optimizing your Google Places listing so you come up on page one when those words are searched. You could have a try at it yourself, but be aware, if you've not optimized your Places listing well enough, a competitor can easily overrun you. The other risk is that if you do it too aggressively and break Google's rules, a competitor can take offense, report you to Google, and they can completely remove or ban your Google Places listing. Because we offer levels of exclusivity, it does work on a first-come, first-served basis, which means that our service is not always available. A last and vital point to note, we guarantee to get you on the first page, and we will keep at it until we get you there, no matter what it takes, or refund your money in full. You could invest in a Yellow Pages display advert for 6000 for a year, an NZ Herald display advert for about 1000 a week, or an optimized Google Places listing that comes up on computers and smartphones from only 690 plus GST depending on the option of your choice. This could be a one-off investment or you may prefer to stay ahead of the pack by choosing an ongoing membership in which you'll receive weekly training, a monthly personal call to evaluate and strategize your online domination and a guarantee to keep you on the first page. You've been directed to this video by one of our qualified salespeople who will be getting back in contact with you to discuss which Google Places optimization plan would best help to achieve your business goals. Gold, platinum or diamond. You can check out the options now by visiting the link on this video. That way you'll be ready to make your choice when they call or of course you could call them now to make sure your spot is available and reserved. Now it's your chance to create an unfair advantage over your competition with an optimized Google Places listing from online marketing.